Hi, I'm Mike at Conforms. We're here today to talk about our air cuff. Our air cuff has become very popular because without kinking the hose, which you shouldn't do because it damages the hose, this compresses like a blood pressure cuff and compresses the hoses on all sides. People use this for a few different reasons. One, they're not raining concrete all over everything when they move their boom from one spot to another, maybe from one column to another. Uh, they also, it also helps as a safety device. When this compresses the hose, it allows the mud not to keep falling out of the boom when we stop pumping, and therefore keeps all the mud in the boom. It doesn't create a big air pocket in there. So when we start pumping again, that air doesn't, there's not a big air pocket to get compressed and allow it to escape through the hose when we start pumping and create a hose whip. So this helps that to become less possible because the boom is still full of mud when this is compressed. When this is installed, it can be done a couple different ways. The, some of the pumps have the wiring and the controls, everything already in the remote. If that's the case, you know, you just have to go through your owner's manual and figure out how to program it. If that is not the case, you can buy electronics. Some of the older pumps are not wired for it or some new pumps are just wired a little differently and they require the electronics. Sometimes the electronics can be wired into the controls of your system. So it's set with a pump on and off switch. The new alliances are set with the remote and have a switch. So when you turn the pump on, it decompresses the air cuff, allows you to start pumping. When you shut the pump off, shuts the pump off, inflates the air cup so it's done automatically for you. The electronics can also be worked on a pump that doesn't have that capability or you're unsure how to do it. To do that, you would just use our regular garage style remote. So you would just clip it to your remote or to your belt and just hit the on and off button to inflate or deflate it. One of the things we try to recommend with these air cuffs is to use the, the pressure regulator and only dial it up as high as we need to. So if we're using a three inch or three and a half inch wire hose, we may need a little bit more pressure. If we're using four inch fabric, five inch fabric, we might be able to use a little less pressure. The least amount of pressure we can do with this, the longer your air cuff will last, the longer your hose lasts as well, you know, with the, the compressing and decompressing. The air cuff is also really awesome this one compared to our previous generation and a lot of them on the market is we can rebuild it. So you can take these bolts out inside here, replace this bladder and change the whole piece instead of having to buy a whole new unit at a much lower cost. This little 90 valve here is where it dumps so that when the air escapes here, it does it very quickly to inflate and deflate. So all quick connect you're just running an air supply up the boom from your air regulator and wiring this into the truck and you're good to go. So Conform's air cuff, easy to install, easy to use, only eight pounds and you're good to go. If you have any questions about how to install it, you can reach out to Alliance and ask them any questions you need.